In major developments from Hong Kong, pro-democracy legislators have resigned en masse, protesting Chinese administration's new set of constitutional amendments that allow the chief executive of Hong Kong to disqualify any legislator that they feel are anti-China and pro-democracy. This paves the way for pro-democracy leaders to now look for newer paths to fight the entire fight for democracy. Meanwhile, China is now threatening retaliatory action against those countries that have raised their voices criticizing Chinese actions. UK and Australia have heard from Beijing on the 13th of November warning them of retaliatory action if they continue to criticize the Chinese actions. Hong Kong opposition legislator Lam Chok Ping unfurled a banner from a balcony inside the Legislative Council on 12th of November morning before he walked out of the building. The banner read, Carrie Lam damages Hong Kong and hurts the people. Her name will stink forever. Lam Chok Ting is one of the 14 other pro-democracy lawmakers who later handed over their resignations en masse in solidarity to the disqualified quartet. Inside the main chamber, President Andrew Leung continued to preside over the Legislative Council with 19 empty chairs. Hong Kong's Parliament will come here today. 这个是特区政府和中央政府自己制造的一个是破坏宪政。A day before 11th of November, Hong Kong's chief executive Carrie Lam announced disqualification of the four pro-democracy legislators. This happened after Beijing passed a resolution that would now allow the local government to remove lawmakers from their positions if they were deemed to threaten the national security of China. The four disqualified legislators supported Hong Kong's independence and refused to acknowledge China's sovereignty over the city. Whatever,境外勢力干預香港特別行政區事務,或者具有其他危害國家安全等行為,不符合擁護中華人民共和國香港特別行政區基本法,效忠中華人民共和國香港特別行政區的法定要求和條件,一經依法認定,即時喪失